All right, which means before you were born. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, this is Digital Logic. I'm from Clan CBC. I'm here to just bring you a quick, well, not a quick actually, a series of videos using the new character called the Mechromancer, who is just come out today. Uh, although this will probably be posted a bit later on today, but we'll see what will happen. Um, this is all going to be live commentary, so I'm going to be doing as I play. That hand looks badass. Hand holding the gun. It's all robotic. Um, haven't unlocked any skins for us, of course, because I've only just started. But um, we'll see how this runs as a series. I might be able to do from the start to finish, but we'll see how things head off. Um, actually, skills would be a good thing. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Alright, just the guns you start off with. Answer the point. Uh, uh. Oh, sweet. So her ability is to increase your chances of applying. So applying, so that means that she creates it, not it increases the chance of the gun doing it if it already has it. That's pretty cool. Because I didn't remember it saying uh, beforehand, you guys didn't see it, that uh, it actually had that her main ability or, you know, proficiency uh, was shock and acid or something like that. So that's what her skills are mostly based around. So I think she's going to be sort of like the Borderlands Siren sort of thing, where she focused more on, you know, elemental type damage. I think this character is probably the same, or, the uh, or in likeness to that sort of character. Um, I have played through the campaign before, so I pretty much know how things run. So hopefully you won't be getting slow gameplay. Uh, instead it'll be kind of, uh, you know, on top of the ball and that sort of thing. Um, I've been playing Borderlands straight from when it was came out. I'm enjoying it quite a bit now, actually. It's a very interesting game. It's captivating. It's like the little small things, like, you know, Claptrap here. That's, that's actually Claptrap dressing in a bikini. Yeah, I usually little, make little quiet moments or when there's cutscenes like this or whenever a character's talking. Um, also probably when I'm in the heat of battle because I tend to kind of focus on one sense which is my well, eyesight uh, and don't really talk or I fade off. <laughs> um, so hopefully this gameplay will be uh, fast paced, it won't be slow and boring for you guys. Um, if you're watching the first episode right now um, and you're liking it so far, just hit the like button. Uh, subscri subscribe if you want to see episode two. Uh, but also, just let me know how it's going for you. Once upon a time, four vault hunters changed Pandora forever. But their time has passed. Thanks to Handsome Jack, Pandora needs a new hero. I know that hero is you. Apart from the excruciating pain, this is great! I've been waiting for a mighty vault hunter to help me reach Sanctuary! I will be your wise leader, and you shall be my fearsome minion! <laughs> or not. Which just makes this go a bit quicker by not talking. Let's do it. Let's just go. Onward, seeing I minion. Let me go. And Q hit ice block. I didn't. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, the character came out today, and I thought it would be pretty good if I got some fairly quick gameplay out. So you're not going to see a lot of flashy editing. Or anything along those lines. Would you hurry up? Close to the robot. He will help you get off this glacier and into the city of Sanctuary. That is the only place you will be um, safe. Another aspect uh, of this game that I like, although also don't like, is the rarity of items. Uh, you actually feel really appreciative of the guns you have when they're of high quality. Except, 
Oh, okay. Except one thing that uh, does annoy me is the fact that the um, when you're attacking the boss, you're expecting a fairly rare loot, but you just get lots of semi-rare loot, as opposed to, like, you know, really high loot. Like, I'd prefer to have two purple guns as opposed to four blue ones, uh, which is what I found happened quite a bit. Um, and surprisingly, the last boss of the game, he literally only gave me blue guns. Uh, I didn't get any, uh, well, they weren't even all blue. Like, a lot of them were just, uh, clear, or whatever, the white, the white weapons. And, uh, it was actually Bunker, the flying, uh, boss robot, who gave me a, uh, orange weapon. And before that was the, uh, Ming Mong, or whatever it is, which is the midget Mong Rider, or whatever it is. When you do a quest for Handsome Jack. Uh, that's just something that annoys me a bit, is, you know, the, the progression of the battle, I think, like how long it takes you to defeat that boss, I reckon that should be the, uh, main variable into what sort of, uh, item you get. Sorry about that, I think I just actually skipped an audio voice of the Necromancer. My bad. Wait, now get me out of here yeah, usually around the 15 minute mark, uh, and all the other gameplay walkthroughs I've seen, they've literally just finished beating uh, Knuckle Dragger. Um, so we'll see if we can beat that record. I think currently it's about six minutes we're at right now. Uh, seven minutes. So if you could just do me a favor and off yourself, that'd be great. Thanks, Pumpkin. Handsome Jack is such a dick. All right, let's see if we can kill this guy. Um, also, seeing as this is the first episode, it means that I'm open to criticism. If you don't like something, let me know. I can change it. Uh, also, another question is, would you guys like me to do side missions. I might have to do a sum simply just to level up um, and be able to do a uh, high level quest. But um, would you like me to just... Oh shit, I'm killing this thing real quick. Would you guys like me to sort of skip past those side quests simply to um, keep the storyline going quickly? Because pretty much this is just only for a um, sort of like, you know, an example of what sort of skills the uh, Necromancer can actually put out and use. I'm really keen to see that the death trap, whatever it's called, the uh, death clap trap that we uh, should unlock at level 5. Really? I, I got an orange weapon at level 2? Level 2, uh, okay, I don't think, I think this is what's going to make this gameplay special, guys. I have never seen anyone at this low level receive an orange weapon. No joke. Ah, uh, that's excellent. And obviously it's going to have some sort of special property, maybe. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> an orange weapon, people. Wow, I can't get over that. In my whole time playing Borderlands 2, I've received, I think, three orange items, and one of them was given to me by a friend. Um, I've, ah, oh, wow, this is pissing me off. I, I don't even try, and I get it. <laughs> and it's, uh, and it's kind of, it, it seems like such a waste of a rare weapon as well. I mean, how awesome would it be if you were level 40, and that's when you get it instead at level 2, I get it. Ah, this has pissed me off really, really heaps. <laughs> oh well. Orange weapon should make the gameplay go a bit quicker, hopefully. Yes, we know. And then Angel to the rescue. In 3, 2, 1, go! I wish she used. 
isn't such a bad way to go. Looks like it's a hammer. Executing it's got a pretty cool scream. Turning me on. No, I'm kidding. Seriously though. It is turning me on. I'm really keen to see what this uh, orange weapon does. I mean, the properties don't look too special, to be honest. The... Like, it says 1882. Yeah, it, it looks shit. We'll see what I can do when we go kill the bully mongs through this door. Also, one sort of little bug that I found, well, it's not really a bug, it's just, you know, it, it's probably something that they've overlooked as programmers, but um, when Megan, you do the, right when you want to do the mass collection, when you hold down Keep X, or for you, you PlayStation right. people, Square, I think it is, uh, when you hold that down, you expect to pick everything up that, that's facing you. It actually only works for whatever is on your screen. It doesn't work for proximity, which I think is a bit slack. Like, it's cool. This gun's cool. The... I've seen better. And it's a pretty good gun. I mean... It's... I don't know. It's, it's nothing special in my eyes. I mean, for, for an orange weapon, I reckon it could have been a bit more amped up or have some sort of special property. Also, by the way, if you didn't know, you can just jump around and skip the whole... Let's get that gate open first. Crap. It is good for one-hitting things, but, you know, you waste ammo. See, because I, I don't want to do that, because that wastes the whole clip. Well, not the whole clip, but, you know, considerable amount. I picked that up. Just picking up a lot of crap. My health constantly regening. Has anyone seen that? I want to get hit by something. Nah, I'm just tripping balls. Don't worry, guys. Cool, it ain't over. Blah blah blah. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get the attention of these things. Yes, I suppose I am in your debt now, aren't I? Come to my shack and I shall restore Claptrap's sight. First, I shall shut off the electrical fence for you. Please stay back, Bolt Hunter. Let Claptrap go first. Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. <laughs> I shall be out directly. One, one thing that I also appreciate about this game is the uh, dialogue. The, the writer for this is just absolutely creative. You, I am Sir Hammerlock. Like uh, when, uh, what's it called, Claptrap, the, the holes in the walls where the uh, bully monks come out, he calls them wall sphincters. I think that's excellent. Uh, I don't know, it's just the... Uh, Introduction of characters. One thing that I do think that they could have done a bit better would probably be um, Sanctuary. Uh, yes, it's a vast, vast improvement from, you know, no life whatsoever in a city, but I think that, you know, the dialogue, the AI could have been done a bit, a bit more, I don't know, better. Oh, Necromancer skin, yes. Um, what should we sell? We'll sell that first. How much is that sold? It's going for 505 bucks. Yeah. I will get rid of that. I hate those types of guns. Yeah, I'm pretty good.
Alright, so when the guy turns on the electricity, I should be able to go show you guys the skin. I think they will call that episode one for uh, tonight, and hopefully I'll be able to upload one one a night. Uh, Pre-record record them and uh, set them up for upload, because um, at the moment we're coming up on 15 minutes. And I'll try to aim for about 18 minute episodes, so I might be able to do one mission from the Hammerlock, but we'll see how things go. I'm really keen to see what these skins look like. Actually, the most interesting thing I find uh, with the characters uh, is the skinheads. That actually adds a bit more character to your character, if that makes sense. But um, another thing I wish that they could do a little bit better would be the um, actual clothes skins. Yeah, you get things like the Bandit Incinerator, which looks really cool because you get like a little pattern on your shirt on the front. But I think adding sort of some sort of physical aspect would make it so much more all players so much more appreciative of um, you know actually finding these. All right, we understand. So what we'll do? Yeah, what townsfolk? That's what I want them to improve. More townsfolk everywhere. All right, let's see what skins. I didn't get any head ones. Oh, these are the head other head skins that you can get. You can get this one, which I think just looks crap because it reminds me of Scooter, and Scooter's stupid, so I don't like how to be stupid. Um, Gage, that's also one that's pretty cool. Um, Bang Bang's, I don't know, she just reminds me of a ninja, so that's why I kind of chose it. But, uh, I guess I could stick with that. We'll, we'll stick with this one. Um, now what did I unlock? TD or low price. See what I mean? There's like nothing you can tell between, say, that one and this one. Except for the stocking. And it's slightly lighter. They, they just could have done a better job with the skins, but otherwise I'm really, really liking this game. The uh, random generation. Actually, that's, that's another issue. I know, I know I'm going on a bit of a bitch session, but uh, I know I think I think it's valid. Um, the guns, yeah, they're different and they look cool, but I think they just look a little bit too similar. Like whenever you get an explosive gun, you're just automatically looking for a a wide ba ended barrel. I mean, yeah, that's cool, but it would be better. <laughs> now, I usually just do this mission because it's in close proximity, plus I think it gets you a gun to start off with. Uh, I think it's either a blue one or a green one. That just gets you started armament wise. Now, this gun would be really, really good to take out the big ones like this. Good fire rate. Yeah, no, I think it's a good orange weapon, but. I guess because when you when you picture an orange weapon, you imagine it to be highly overpowered and things like that. Like I got a character that has a Hyperion shotgun that's orange. It it's overpowered, really overpowered. You shoot straight, and then another four bullets come from the side, the other side, and yeah, it takes them down quickly. It's safe to say. Now I think I'm going to go for the skin. Captain Flint's men killed anyone who stayed. Um, because I know at this place, uh, it'll set you up to other missions. Plus, it gets you XP. Plus, it gets you a better shield. Uh, also gives you a weapon crate. And also, I can show you guys where a hidden vault symbol is. Um, which you also see on my other walk. Well, it's not really a walkthrough, it's just me mucking around with two other guys. Uh, and we've recorded that, and we're going from start to finish as well. I thought I'd uh, redo a walkthrough, one, because the game seems to be quite different uh, each playthrough, and also because, you know, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> bad move, bad move. 
Alright, so level 4. Um, hopefully next episode I'll be able to show you guys the death trap trap. Um, I'll try and upload that as quickly as I can simply so, you know, people on YouTube can get an understanding of this new character because uh, A, I get it before everyone else and B, it's, you know, it's something that really hasn't been done. Uh, I, not in gaming, but you know, with series like this, adding a whole new character to be able to use. But yeah, that's one thing I like about um, Gearbox is they actually listen to the community, fix problems that the community tells them about. Like the uh, golden key glitch, that was fixed really quickly. Man, this gun's powerful. And we're out of ammo. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. Um... Oh, that's right. Oh, almost forgot that. I hate watching, um... Uh, white, green, blue, purple, orange. I hate watching people's gameplay and then seeing them miss out on boxes that they could possibly pick up. That's the one thing that pisses me off because you're just like, no, no, no. Because you feel like actually reaching in and trying to change it for him. Um... Well, this one's gone over a bit more time, but uh, we'll, we'll wait till we get to the top and we'll see how things go from there. Uh, so hopefully, uh, from how I'm going now, I'll be uploading, oh, let's say, a 25 minute video or under, simply because of file size and the convenience to edit it and upload. This used to be a sizable hub for the resistance until everyone heard the Hyperion army approaching and fled to sanctuary. All right. Door. So apparently we have to buy something. It's the cheapest thing they got. Pretty much nothing that one. Ah, need to sell something. Shotgun, let's get rid of the shoddy. Someone's hurting me. No, I didn't think so. Alright, so here's the secret for you guys, if you haven't known. Uh, if you go around the side of this building, jump up here. This is the tricky part, jump up there, there, there. Jump down here. Um, one, you've got the Borderlands Cult of the Vault symbol there. Not sure where the other one is. And two, you got this. Um, all the shit, but uh, I think one that might end it there and tune in for the next episode guys if you enjoy it like it subscribe it favorite it you know do all that sort of stuff to help me get some exposure um if you don't well go and search for another video on youtube i'm sure there's plenty of them by now uh but this is digital logic i'm from clan cbc uh see you guys on the flip side